Hey everyone, my name's Harry Atomic and it's time again for another pickups video. So recently I've been trying to beef up my Xbox collection a bit. So we've got nothing but Xbox this time, it's all Xbox One, Xbox 360. Oh, this one's gonna be good. Anyways, let's get into the video. So before we get started, I would like to ask everyone to please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I make an absolute ton of Xbox videos on Xbox collecting, gameplay, reviews, we do some live streams, we just talk about Xbox news, just all things Xbox. So if you like Xbox videos without getting bogged down in all of the fanboyness, then I think this might be the channel for you. Anyways, let's get on with the pickups. So let's start with the Xbox One games. So uh, as always, I usually pick up Xbox One games. Uh, and and they stay sealed mostly because the games are on Game Pass or are coming up for Game Pass or whatever. But this time around we have a nice mix. So first of all I got Elder Scrolls Online, just the regular one, not like the Morrowind edition or anything like that. This was recently added to Game Pass and uh, I picked it up mainly just because it was super cheap and I always like disc based versions of games as well. Um, it comes with the game, comes with a little manual and stuff so it's got everything on there that should be on there. But yeah, um, I did actually start this and I put about 8 hours on it one night just, well, I say one night it was probably the whole night and I really enjoyed it I thought it was loads of fun but for some reason when I logged back in my character was gone and it like took me back to the creator character scene I'm like what am I supposed to do so I don't know if I'll actually play this again I don't want to put all the time back into like making a brand new character I'm pretty sure I saved it at some point as well so I'm kind of muff but here we are anyways the next game that I picked up as well was Final Fantasy 15 it is specifically the day one edition which means nothing except the fact that it has the this day one edition banner on the top as far as I can tell so this comes with the little manual the little little advertisements and all that stuff and the disc and also this has been released on game pass with a whole ton of DLC and all that stuff so I ended up just downloading it on game pass straight after I bought this but I like Final Fantasy games I'm waiting for Final Fantasy 7 remake at the minute I can't wait so I'm in like in full Final Fantasy hype mode at the moment so I will be playing through this we just probably playing through it in my spare time just for a bit of fun so um, yeah yeah, I'm really happy to have a copy of Final Fantasy 15. I heard it was okay, but different than all the other Final Fantasies. It's got a lot of noodle adverts in it apparently. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. The next two games I have are still sealed. The first one of which is Anthem. Uh, I got this for, I think it was on clearance in Smith's Toys, which uh, yeah, I can see why. Um, I asked the guy at the counter if he had a copy of Fallout 76 as well, because I wanted to play that just like for YouTube reasons. And um, yeah, he, he stood there and he, he said he didn't have any copies in stock and blindly tried to put me off buying Fallout 76 as much as he could. Like he really was believing in the fact that this was a bad purchase for me yet doesn't say anything about the fact that I was buying Anthem so thank you Smith's guy for your honesty uh, I'm sorry though but I will be picking up Fallout 76 at some point and uh, yeah <laughs> sealed copy of Anthem okay um, yeah the next one that I picked up while I was on there the main reason why that I went on was uh, because Kingdom Hearts was on there for a fiver as well and so that's sealed it'll probably be staying sealed because it's coming to Game Pass I think like this month or it's just come out on Game Pass I'm not sure so I'll happily download it on Game Pass and play it that way and have my lovely sealed copy of Kingdom Hearts. In the future, if I ever need to break the seal, I will. I mean, I'm not married to the idea of keeping sealed games around, unless I'm like, super, like, it's my favourite game or something. I don't have the, the degree necessary for deciphering the Kingdom Hearts storyline. I do have, like, the complete all Kingdom Hearts like PlayStation 4 disc or something like there was an anthology release I picked that up as well so maybe I should like spend a couple of years playing that first before I play Kingdom Hearts 3 so funny note this is actually the second copy of this game that we have I wanted the Xbox One version which is now going to be on Game Pass and Tash wanted the PlayStation version because she prefers PlayStation so yeah I see that as being a theme in our house going forward for games we both want to play anyways on to the 360 games so uh, these games are a mix of games that I think I showed off in a game room tour class action tour video before so this is me catching up on pickups but I think there's a few new ones on here as well so the first game is Dynasty Warriors 7 now I mentioned in the last pickups video that I really enjoy the Dynasty Warriors series for the very little of it that I've played and uh, I wanted to make a point of trying to close the gap in uh, the Dynasty Warriors games that I had now it turns out I thought I was only missing two I was actually missing a lot more than two because I didn't realize how many franchises the Dynasty Warriors has paired with uh, there's just an 
absolute ton of these games. Um, it only has the disc inside. I don't have the manual. However, um, I'm, I, yeah, I will give this a go at some point. I think that uh, starting with the main series is probably the best idea. I don't want to start with, you know, Dynasty Warriors X, Goku, Gundam 7, you know, Tactics Edition. I don't want to, like, go that mad. I'd probably just start with, like, Dynasty Warriors, probably this one, I don't know. But yeah, um, the next game that I picked up was Dark Souls 2. Now, this is an absolute pristine condition the case is super smooth because you know that smooth feeling that new cases have mm. also comes with the manual the little advertisement and the disc now um a thing about dark souls as well i have to admit i've never actually played a dark souls game i've always heard that they're like ridiculously difficult and while i'm not usually deterred by difficult games i think i've just never actually set aside the time to play dark souls because i just have never really been in the mood to die a million times before like beating a boss this is where the fights will start in the comments so ready your keyboards everyone but i am in the camp that Dark Souls, an easy mode wouldn't be a bad thing uh, if people want an easy mode and if ultimately it comes down to From Software. If From Software want to put an easy mode on, then do it. If they don't, then I don't really care. But um, yeah, I generally play games on like normal or easy or one of the two because I just like, you know, playing through a game. Plus I don't have as much time as I would like to sink in the games these days. So repeating the same boss a thousand times to get past it is probably something I'm going to shy away from mainly because I just don't have the time. But yeah, um, I'm happy to have Dark Souls too. I probably will play Dark Souls 1 at some stage. Maybe I was contemplating playing them for video reasons. Maybe doing like a Dark Souls challenge or something. I don't know. Um, if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know. Um, Dark Souls from a guy that's never played Dark Souls. That could be a thing. Anyways, the next game, which is one, strangely enough, that I'm actually really looking forward to playing, is CSI Hard Evidence. Now, you might ask, why are you interested in playing CSI? You might man, that series is like 20 years old or something. Um, It's mostly because uh, of the style of game. I'm assuming, and hopefully I'm right in this from like the back of the box and what I've read online, is that it's like a crime investigation, like collect the evidence, solve the mystery type game. Sounds awesome. I mean, having a CSI skin on top of it probably just adds adds to the marketability of the game, but I'm hoping that the game itself is actually something that's at least a bit entertaining. Um, it was super cheap, which means if I even play it for like an hour, then I've got my money's worth. And uh, yeah, it comes with the, got the manual, got the game itself, and uh, this is one I 100% will be playing, which I was surprised at. Next game is the Borderlands double pack add-on, which has Moxie's Underdome Riot and the Zombie Island of Dr. Ned. I would recommend uh, Dr. Ned's Zombie Island. I would not recommend the Underdome, mainly because the Underdome was just killing loads of enemies over and over again and if you are achievement hunting that one will be super 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 boring. Zombie Island of Dr. Ned was actually funny it had like a, a really quirky Borderlands-esque storyline. What is your problem? Who's sending me a message? I'm doing a video. I really should turn off notifications. But yeah this was the DLC just on a uh, on a disc. It also comes with a little manual. Um, you need their base game to play it obviously but I would not recommend this for anybody who's not collecting for Xbox 360. Mainly because because Borderlands DLC nowadays, as far as I know, is free. So you can just go ahead, pop your Borderlands on and just play it. Plus it's also backwards compatible with Xbox One, I think. So yeah, there's no point in buying like a DLC add-on disc for gameplay reasons if you can just download the DLC for free anyway. So yeah, this is one of these like collector only recommendations that I would be giving out. The next game that I have here is Generator Rex Agent of Providence. I know nothing about this game. This game makes me feel like an old man because I have no idea who this character is, what this character does. It's some kind of cartoon network license so i don't know uh he seems to have big metallic hands that like turn on the thing i don't know uh either way it's a kids game and because it's a kids game as i said in the last video and i think i said in a few other videos if there is a kids game and you, that you come across that is not scratched within an inch of its life definitely pick it up because these things are getting harder to find in playable condition this one comes with the manual comes with the disc uh i was really happy to add a kids game and the my collection uh every i'm slowly coming across more and more kids games but again I've come across more kids games that I sadly have to leave back because they are just so scratched to hell. Anytime I come across one, even if it's a double, if I come across it and it's not scratched and it's like a fair enough price, I'll pick it up because again, I know people who collect 360 and finding these kids games could be so difficult sometimes. Speaking of games that I'm happy to find, uh, the heavy header that I picked up this month was The Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. Now, Spyro games always hold 
their value. Everyone loves Spyro, especially with the Reignited trilogy that came out. This one comes with the manual, the little advert for like a mobile phone game inside, and the disc. Um, this has really held its value. I don't know if it's because this game just wasn't as popular. I don't know if it's because maybe it got a smaller run or a release or something. I'm not sure the actual specifics, but for some reason, this game is one of the more expensive 360 titles. I'm starting to come into like the last maybe third of the set now, and I'm starting to try and pick off some of the more like difficult or expensive items from the Sultan from the, the set mainly just so that I'm not spending the last bits of the collection trying to hunt down a few games and just having a horrible time I want to like breeze through the last bit of the collection so I'm trying to kind of tackle the hard things now if that makes sense but yeah I have the reignited trilogy as well and I loved Spyro back in the day and I played the reignited trilogy and it's loads of fun so I think I'll explore this and see what Spyro is like on the 360 next game is Sherlock Holmes versus Jack the Ripper it sounds like like a crazy fighting weird type game but it's not it's a mystery game which I love mystery games I love puzzles I love like Leighton and things like that uh, and this looks like another like investigate the crime scene catch the killer type thing I love the Sherlock Holmes story the Jack the Ripper story is terrifying and it's just one of those like just really cool pieces of history and uh, yeah um, this one comes with the manual comes with the disc um, I've been really lucky with my manuals lately. I've been getting a lot of like complete copies of games. But yeah, this is another one I'll definitely be playing. Um, I'm, I'm hoping it's good. It's something I haven't really heard about. You see Sherlock Holmes popping up every now and then. I really like the character. I really like the story. And I really like mystery games. So this one's a winner for me. Speaking of kids games, I managed to pick up SpongeBob Hero Pants, which also has a uh, like a sort of respectable price these days. It's pretty much just a uh, buff uh, SpongeBob. Let's see if I can get that to focus. Why is SpongeBob? buff he still has a square head but he has a buff body so strange but either way this one comes with a little advert uh, inside or a few little adverts and the disc itself I don't know if this one actually came with a manual because it has like some info printed on the inside of the box like a safety sheet so I don't even know if it had a manual Um, this was part of that call that I put out last time as well that if anybody has games and they know for a fact what the um, what the contents were whenever the game was like complete and sealed and whatever then like let me know in the discord because you know things like that's important for people who want to collect like complete copies of games but anyways um yeah the uh spongebob humor is pretty good i'm hoping that this game retains at least some of the spongebob humor so i probably will play it uh i'll give it a go even if just for uh, the fun of it usually kids games achievements aren't too bad as well so i might even play it from an achievement hunting perspective but yeah and it also wasn't scratched to death so i'm really happy to add another kids game under the set that is not you know in about a million pieces so we've six games left let's get stuck on the next one is world series of poker 2008 um yeah it's poker not much more to add than that uh it's the second poker game for the 360 which is strange it says battle for the bracelets don't know what what bracelets and poker have to do with one another. I think you won a bracelet at like a big poker tournament. I don't know. If you're a poker fan, maybe this is for you. Maybe it's easier than like, you know, trying to shuffle cards and dropping them on the floor and I'm going to pick up all the cards and oh my god, it's such a hassle. At least this way you don't have to do that. Um, yeah, this one comes with the manual, comes with the actual disc itself. And uh, it's an okay-ish condition. Uh, I feel like maybe this thing got water damaged ever so slightly at one point because uh, you can probably see like there's ripples in the actual case. I don't really mind. As long as it's not completely shot to hell, I'll happily add it to my collection. But yeah, um, World Series of Poker. The next game is Vampire Reign. I know absolutely nothing about this game. It was made by AQ Interactive. I know nothing about that studio. It comes with the uh, comes with the disc. It comes with the manual, and uh, all of the information on the back of this box is in uh, not English. And since I am extremely uncultured, I cannot read any of it. However, um, the blurb at the top is in English, and it looks as if the game is actually a like UK release. So yeah, I have no idea what the story is with this release or what the story is with this game but um it looks like vampires with like snipery dude in the background i don't know uh if anybody knows if it's fun or not let me know but uh yeah vampire rain give that a go probably at some point the next game here is rocksmith 2014 now there were two rocksmith titles for the xbox 360 this was the updated like new song version but rocksmith was like rock band for people who actually wanted to like graduate from the plastic instruments and start playing real guitar so this one comes with the uh, manual comes with a connection guide comes with a subscription to xbox music and also 
also comes with the disc. Uh, you need a cable to connect a real guitar to your Xbox 360. I do not have that cable, but I'm very interested in picking one up. The main reason being is because I actually play guitar. I played guitar for years. It was my profession for a while. I just, uh, and I would love to actually sit down and like play, you know, uh, a, a Guitar Hero-ish game and actually have it be playing the actual song, like playing the guitar and see what it's like from that perspective. But yeah, um, if anybody has played this or has any experience with Rocksmith, let me know. But it actually, the idea actually sounds like a lot of fun. Next game that we have here is Injustice Gods Among Us. Now this one only has the disc. It doesn't have the manual. However, again, it still has this like safety warning inside. Now, I don't know if that safety warning is... Uh, you know, indicative of whether or not the game actually came with a manual. I, I'm not sure. So again, uh, any information anybody has on any of these games as to whether or not they came with manuals, uh, let me know. But um, Injustice is the fighting game for people who like uh, DC. It, it is actually very good. It's not just like a cheap knockoff license game. Um, it's made by NetherRealm, the same people who've made Mortal Kombat and they seem to have a bit of a history with DC. There was Mortal Kombat versus DC, which I liked. Some people didn't. I think it was because it was, it's like a 3D sort of thing you can like step into the background and you know it makes projectiles just really weak but um yeah i really enjoyed it this one is more of a strict 2d fighter it's got a lot more environmental things that you can do it's got the full suite of dc characters um there's also a game of the year edition if you're interested in playing with you know extra characters and all that stuff personally i don't mind um i like this game anyway and you know I, i'm gonna pick it up i i'm not good with fighting games at all i just like playing against the computer and then turning it off because if i play a fighting game against someone else i'll get way too competitive and my skills aren't good enough to match how competitive I get at games and so I just end up losing all the time and getting really frustrated. So yeah, um, happy to have Injustice. I'm, I'm a big fan of Netherrealm. I like what they do with like Mortal Kombat and stuff like that. So uh, if you're a DC fan, you're a Mortal Kombat fan, you'll definitely enjoy this. Second last game that we have here is Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. I'm not sure exactly how many Harry Potter games that there are for the Xbox 360. However, again, because it was so popular, it, it holds a certain value mainly because of the Harry Potter license and also because kids tend to destroy these things. Uh, this one doesn't come with a manual, it does come with the disc. The disc is in really good shape, so really happy to add this to the set. Don't know if I'll give it a go, although if it has some easy achievements, I might give it a go. But yeah, um, I'm, I I think this is the third Harry Potter game I have. I have a Connect one and I have another movie tie-in, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to look up and see what the full Harry Potter subset is, but I'm not going nuts for it at the moment. The final game that I picked up for this time around, I think this it's been like two weeks or something since the last one, is Game of Thrones, not the Telltale one. Um, I have the Telltale version as well. Also, just a note for anybody picking up Telltale games. Um, I had a comment from Rollercore, who is another collector on YouTube. You should check him out. He's absolutely fantastic. Um, he sent me a message saying that all of the uh, Telltale games for 360, like all the discs, only contain the first episode. So if you are picking up Telltale games, keep that in mind that um, it may be worth picking them up. If you want to play them all, it may be worth just buying them digitally on the Xbox One. But if you're just collecting, uh, then definitely pick up the 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 disc version like work away if you're collecting but just keep that in mind uh, it's always useful to know exactly what's on the disc obviously there's exceptions to that if you buy like complete versions and things like that but if you just buy a normal one it'll just be the first episode anyways that was a sidetrack game of thrones i heard this was terrible um it's based obviously on the game of thrones tv series this was brought out before the ending uh, i heard that the ending was really bad i'm not gonna watch it i've watched the first i think like five seasons six seasons or something i watched up until the start of the last season which was split into two parts and I thought the ending was okay of what I watched like the end of like season six or something I didn't watch any of the two parts of season seven I heard they were bad so I'm not going to put myself through it um so yeah this I think is just a tie-in to like some of the earlier seasons I don't know anything about it but it's Game of Thrones again the only way I'll play it is if there are easy achievements but uh yeah uh I wouldn't hold my breath other than that it's got the manual it's got the disc and uh, yeah, um, that's the last game that I have this month. So not loads, but still super happy with what I got. Anyways, if you like videos like this, if you like collecting videos, you like Xbox videos, you like discussion, you like reviews, you like gameplay, you like live streams, then definitely consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I put loads of effort into trying to get like loads of Xbox content out for people because there's still so many people that enjoy the Xbox. So if you like discussing the Xbox stuff without getting bogged down in all of that fanboyism, then consider subscribing. I think that this might be the channel for you. Also, as I mentioned a few times throughout this video, please consider joining our Discord 
Discord. We have over 100 members all chatting about Xbox and collecting and just games in general. There's no fanboy stuff in there. It's just everybody chatting about consoles and having loads of fun. Also, it's a really good place if you want to contact me directly. You can send me a message on there and I tend to reply pretty quickly to people on Discord. But yeah, the links are down in the description if that sounds like something you'd be interested in. Anyways, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you guys next time.